Hey, coming back with another lesson learned that I hope I can share with you so you don't have to make the same um, learning curves I did. So I left college and had a paid off Cobalt, Chevy Cobalt. That thing was bright red and I hate bright red, but that car was sexy. Loved it, drove it for like five years and got my big corporate job and was like, I'm gonna trade this car in. So I took a paid off car, char went to the dealership, traded it in and got a pretty sizable payment for a hybrid Kia car. Now, here's the other thing. Those cars don't hold their value. So I drove off the lot owing more than the car was actually worth the second I drove it off the lot. And fast forward two years later, did the same thing with a brand new Jeep Wrangler two-door Sahara. Beautiful car, love it, would love it in my driveway again right now, but traded it in. So the Kia wasn't worth it, rolled that negative equity into the new um, purchase and did it again when I got pregnant. So I was just like in this cycle of like trading up cars, trading up cars, trading up cars. And it's like you were always taking some from the last car into the new car. That's the fastest way to not be able to save a big amount of money to buy a house. So just don't do stupid shit like that. Been there, done it, and the experience wasn't really worth it. So thought I'd share.